What's up guys, it's your boy Chris coming at you again with another Madden tip. Today I'm going to show you why off coverage sucks balls. Completely useless. If you know how to abuse it. Um, you know, you can beat this play with one play really. Um, it, well, you're not really beating it. You're just essentially taking a shorter gain as opposed to the big gain. No big deal. Uh, very easy play to run. Let me get into it. Pair tight twins. Single back pair tight twins. Out of the Falcons playbook. Under top play right there is going one we're going to be breaking down today. Random play. Very simple. I'm going to motion B over. I want to see what the cornerback does. All right, so he's still on him. It looks like he's pressing. I'm not going to even throw to B. B is the main read. I'm going to throw it to X or I'm going to throw it to RB. RB runs a very, very smooth um, kind of a post route almost. Um, very, very smooth off the line. I like that route a lot. All right, so here's what we're talking about. So he's playing off. He could be in cover two sync, which is the one play I was saying could beat this because the cornerback will just squat and read that corner. But most of the time, he's not in cover two sync. So let's see here. Wow, that that's actually one of the first times that the corner um, and the curl to flat actually bats it down. Believe me, that does not happen very often. He got close again. He's playing it close. He's playing it close, but you don't have much to worry about. He's pressing. Not going to look at him. X. Take your five, seven, whatever. Live another day. Off coverage. Curdle Flat can even get there, take it to the house. If you got someone like Julio Jones, this plays absolutely ridiculous. Um, just ignore this play. All right, he's playing off. Looks like it's it's definitely not going to be a cover two blitz because the safety came down. I can hit B. That corner is playing it a lot closer than he's really usually does. That was against a cornerback. This tight end's not even that good. Um, absolutely burns him for about 45 yards. Let me move the. Oh, actually, I can just do it like this. Now you don't have to have it on this hash mark. I'm just doing it to get a little bit more space. Just to show you. Get yourself 10 yards. Get yourself that first down very, very quickly. You know, if you really want, you can block Y or something and get yourself a little bit more time. Doesn't really matter because you're just dropping, getting the ball out immediately. Motion. Take a look at what the corner does. He's playing off. Uh, take a quick peek at him. Make sure he's not squatting and reading you. Oh, damn. That sucked. He was trailing the uh, drag, and then he somehow made a play on the post. Good play. Take it to the house. Run it a couple more times. This looks like it's going to be a big gain right here. I can already tell. Another touchdown. Happens very often, guys. Look at the corner. He's pressing, not looking at him. Um, what you can do, actually. There are some uh, route concepts you can do to get a little bit more yards out of that drag. Like maybe change up A, put him on a out route or something like that. There's there's things you can do to open it up more. Instead of getting a four yard gain, you can probably get like a seven or eight. But I think anybody who is guaranteed to get positive yards on a play will love this play. It'll bail you out of situations where you need a first down, third and nine. Um, you will pick up those crucial yards. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this play. Make sure you hit that like button. It really helps me out. Let's aim for 20 likes. And if you enjoy daily Madden content, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Appreciate it, guys.